Hi, I'm Dane Woods and this is my Ask Me Anything. What is your day-to-day -day work? What do you do in the week? And what do you do on a race weekend? So depending on uh, whether the race is European or flyaway, uh, Europeans, we, uh, we fly on Tuesdays. Uh, we set the car up on uh, Wednesday, so we get engines and gearboxes. Um, we install all test items, uh, extra logging sensors, lasers. Uh, and then on uh, Thursday is fire up uh, and uh, set up the car. Friday obviously is running day. Um, used to be a late one on Fridays, but the curfews uh, helped us out a little bit there. Uh, Saturday obviously FP3 and qualifying, uh, which is probably the most exciting day. Sometimes a bit more than race day. Uh, and then Sunday is uh, obviously race and uh, after the race, we then strip the cars fully, uh, just to a chassis. Uh, luckily, all the electronics stay on, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, and then we uh, pack the whole garage up and uh, send it off back to the factory or to the next race. How did you get into Formula One? What courses did you do? And what got you interested in the first place to become an electronics technician? I went to college, studied countryside management. I wanted to be a gamekeeper, uh, and then soon decided that uh, it didn't pay that great. I found a job in the uh, local paper building wiring harnesses. Basically started building wiring harnesses for most F1 teams. I did that for over 10 years. Um, so I had no real interest in electronics to begin with. Uh, always had an interest in motorsport, um, but found that I was uh, pretty good at building wiring harnesses. Hi Dane, what is the best part of your job and what is the hardest part? Looking forward to seeing you again in Suzuka. Uh, so the best part is obviously going racing, um, but also travelling to all the different countries you get to go to. Um, sometimes we're fortunate enough to have days off and uh, see a few sights. Uh, the hardest part definitely is the travelling and being, a home, well, being away from home for up to three weeks sometimes. That's pretty tough. How long have you been working for Haas and is it your first F1 job? Uh, so I'm now entering my sixth season with Haas. I started in Bahrain 2018. Uh, prior to that, I was at Manor Racing, rest in peace, in 2016. Um, did a short stint at a rival engine manufacturer. Um, and then before that, uh, wiring harnesses since 2006. Bring back the mullet. Uh, I've got a little one going on at the minute. Uh, I've seen quite a few in the, in the paddock the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure it was cool when I had one in back in 2020, but oh well. Hi Dane, what's your beard care routine? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I really have a routine. A good uh, shampoo and a, and a brush gets rid of uh, unwanted food smells, grease, oil, brake dust. But yeah, just a, just a good wash. What is the length of cabling in the car? Um, having built a whole F1 car set a few years ago, I would say there's a good few thousand metres worth of, worth of wire, um, all hand cut, all hand crimped. Um, so yeah, quite a lot. How long did it take to get your arms filled with all those killer tattoos? Uh, so I s got my first tattoo when I was 21, a while ago. Uh, <laughs> took a few years, still getting some more as we speak, uh, it definitely hurts more the older you get. Um, I'd hate to think how much uh, money I've uh, spent. Is it true you guys completely disassemble the car once it's done a weekend and ship on to the next race? Yeah, it's pretty true. We uh, engine and gearbox always come off on a Sunday night. Um, depending if it's uh, full strip, corners do have to be removed uh, otherwise the car will go front end built to the next uh, circuit or back to the factory uh, depending on where it's heading next but yeah it's uh doesn't take long once uh once we finish the race uh just a few hours uh thanks for sending in your questions i've been, uh, enjoyed answering and reading through some of them um yeah thanks for the support hopefully we'll have a good year